Thank you for your patience and welcome to the CDI MobiMax Interactive webinar this afternoon. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. We know how busy most of you are and uh, certainly we'll do our best to make today's uh, session both uh, interesting and informative. Uh, we should last about uh, 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes depending on how many questions there are. Uh, but speaking of questions, we uh, really hope that we can make it as interactive as possible. So please feel free to utilize the uh, questions but our question section in your um, go to meeting or go to webinar control panel to submit questions to us and we'll do our best to answer them uh, as you ask them and if not if you ask us a question we can't answer we commit to get back to you by email within uh, 24 hours so today's session is going to be run mostly by uh, Katie Sullivan who is joined us today from MobiMax but I just thought I'd spend a minute to kind of setting the stage uh, for Katie in terms of what's going on in the marketplace uh, relative to online learning. And uh, what we're going to do then for an agenda is we're going to spend just a minute talking about so why people are using online learning, what you can consider using it for, and then I'm going to turn it over to Katie who's going to do an overview of their offering and uh, show you some live screens and answer all of your uh, questions in terms of what their offering is about and how it works. And then we'll come back and I'll wrap up by just talking about if there was something you saw, how do you engage further and how do we move the ball forward if that's something you're interested in doing. And we will make sure we answer all the questions at the end. But as I said, our goal is to make this as interactive as possible. So please feel free to submit your questions as they come to you. So uh, I don't think it's any surprise, and certainly it's probably no surprise to all of the folks that are on the line today. And the reason you're on the line is you understand that uh, online curriculum, online learning, if you will, is growing at an exponential rate uh, in the North American market. They're talking about 66,000% uh, growth in the last decade. Obviously, it's, um, you know, it's relatively new. And in the last few years, we've seen a, a, a very steep growth and a lot of interest in terms of uh, online learning. Today, one in three uh, higher educational institutes offer online learning, 85% of all uh, um, have 85% of all higher ed organizations have at least one course available. What we've seen from K to 8 and K or sorry 9 through 12 is an, an increased interest in providing this kind of content for the students. And what we're seeing from a lot of them is a variety of ways of using it. So not just thinking about online learning as in terms of replacing you know classrooms and, and the you know, being a standalone way for students to learn. It really does become part of the learning tools accessible to the, to the students. Um, and why people are using it is it allows them to create an independent learning plan and a learning process for each student so that they can learn at their own pace, so that the advanced students can work on more advanced subjects. Teachers are utilizing the tools that are built into these um, products and the content that is built into these products to enhance the way they teach and to add content to what they would have used to teach through textbooks, etc. So they can uh, provide a lot more enriched content in terms of video, audio, etc. Um, and um, the whole concept of the digital classroom and flipped classroom, so teaching uh, concepts through online learning and then reinforcing it in the classroom as opposed to the other way around. So there's a whole bunch of ways we're seeing uh, people use this, whether it's uh, credit recovery in some high school cases, um, but primarily the, the K to 8 stuff that we're going to look at today, the content is really how do the teachers utilize it to enhance uh, learning environment for the kids to increase uh, motivation and to increase engagement because the students there are used to this kind of interaction with technology. And I think what Katie will talk to you in terms of, and what I showed you on the very opening slide, was the kind of results that come from implementing this in classrooms are a very measurable increase in grade average. So without any further ado, I'm going to now turn it over to Katie. Hello, Katie. Hi there. How are you doing? Doing just fine. Hi, everybody. And I'll leave it in your capable hands. I'm going to flip the screen over to you shortly. We'll do that now. We should be able to see your screen shortly. Alrighty, can you see my screen? Yeah. 
Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. Uh, my, like I said, uh, or like Glenn said, my name is Katie Sullivan, and I work for Moby Max, and I'll be telling you a little bit about the program today. Moby Max has a lot to offer, and there's a lot I can tell you about it, so I do tend to go pretty quickly. Please, please, please ask me questions if you're wondering if our program can do something or if we're planning on adding something. Uh, I would love to answer them for you. So to give you a brief overview of who we are, so uh, MobiMax offers a complete adaptive online curriculum for ELA and math grades K through 8. Now that's already a lot, but I don't think that really captures how powerful our program is. Uh, so our program has all of these subject areas that you see here. Let me go ahead and make that a little smaller. Or, hold on just a second. There we go. Um, so our program has all of the curriculum areas that you see here, and we also offer, offer adaptive placement tests, progress monitoring, classroom management features, and motivational tools. And this is all to make uh, technology an integrated part of your classroom. As Glenn already mentioned, if we're seeing a 600 or 6,600 percent increase in the use of these kinds of programs. If higher education is starting to embrace online learning, where almost 85 percent of them have this kind of course, and to say nothing of the fact that most students in this age group are going to have to start taking their standardized assessments yearly online, MobyMax is a key tool to help prepare those students for their future education, both right now and then going on into higher education. Um, so we're actually used by schools, uh, schools and districts across the nation, uh, and we're even used in a few countries abroad in various places, which is really exciting to see Moby going global. Uh, we have wonderful rave reviews from teachers on our website that I would encourage you to look at. These are all real teachers who uh, write in just out of their own volition that they are ecstatic about Moby for all sorts of different reasons from having Moby work with RTI students to having it motivate students with our motivational tools and I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Uh, but probably the biggest thing that's going to be of interest to you is those measurable results. So we're going to take a quick look at that by clicking on proven results here. Uh, so for what we see here, this is our math results. So when we measured student progress, for students who completed 40 hours in Moby, and that could be 40 hours spread out over any range of time, whether that's done you know, with mm, a couple hours a week or 30 minutes a day. Uh, but if students hit this 40 hours, we found that they saw a 1.5 grade level increase in their math skills. And I think with language, we saw similar results. We saw results that were about a 1.4. Uh, that's fabulous. If you can imagine this amount of time, this causes a student to go up one and a half grade levels just by using our program. Uh, we've got a little bit more research down here that I would encourage you to take a peek at. Uh, but more than anything, I just want to show you how the program works. So what I'm going to show you is an actual account. This is if you were to sign up for a free account on our home page, and that is an important thing to mention, that we do have a pretty robust free version of our program that you are welcome to try out just by signing up here. And if you were to sign up here, uh, you would see this page. So this is our main teacher dashboard. This is the hub of Moby, what most teachers are going to use to interact with the program. I'm just going to show you a few highlights of what might be useful to you, what might interest you if you're promoting this to a teacher in the classroom or if you're considering using it for yourself. Uh, one of the biggest benefits of Moby, it has incredibly easy setup with just a couple, oh, looks like I got logged out. Give me just a second here. So with just a click of a button, you can easily register your students. We see it's a simple field here. Uh, easily delete, organize, edit your settings. You can share students among several teachers or transfer them for each grade level. Uh, and that's one thing we've noticed in our program compared to others. Uh, you don't need lots of training to learn it, but if you do, we've got it all built in here, built-in help pages that you can click on that will show you exactly how to do things. So we really enable teachers to work on the program themselves. So easy setup is the first benefit that I would say. We also automatically assign placement tests that give detailed grade level reports. So let me show you what one of these looks like. It's probably one of the more popular features that teachers like about Moby. So if I click on placement here, 
and we see these grade levels. So we start out with some really simple information. We give a basic grade level for how that student did. But as teachers or people who work in education, we of course know that it's not that simple. And just because a student scores at a 4.1 grade level, that doesn't really give us too much insight into uh, where that student actually is, what they know, and what they don't. But Moby's going to give you that insight if you just click here you're going to see a breakdown of how this particular student performed on every single grade, in every single domain, and every single standard on the Common Core. And we can look at these missing standards here to see a very specific breakdown of how that student is doing. And just to show you how detailed and individualized this is, if I click back, so you notice Amanda here, she's at a 4.1. But she's missing these first grade standards, second grade standards, and teachers know that's a common thing that happens. But if we click back and look at our list, and we see that John is also at a 4.1 here. So other programs are going to assume that these two students are the same. They're at the same level. They should get the same stuff. But if we click on John's report, and we click on his missing standards, we're going to see he has an entirely different set of needs. He's not missing those first grade standards or any third grade standards, but he needs a lot of help here on fourth grade operations, even more on numbers. So Moby's going to not only identify what those missing skills are, but they're also going to automatically assign lessons here on the Lessons tab based on what skills that student is missing. Uh, and our lessons, if I click here to assign lessons, So our lessons also, unlike other competitors, we're not just a drill and kill program. Uh, for each lesson that we have in Moby, and we have lessons for all Common Core standards, grades K through 8, we are completely aligned with Common Core. If I click on one of these lessons, go to the first one, we'll see that each lesson has a video component that teaches that skill to the student and then gives them just the amount of practice that they need. So if they're able to pass that practice set, they can move on. If they're struggling, they get more practice until they get it right. Uh, and many, as we go through here, we'll see that uh, many of these problems, these are not multiple choice questions. The student really needs to understand that material before they can move on. Other features that uh, teachers and admins might enjoy, after students are completing these lessons and practice sets, they're going to get progress reports that are also broken down by standard. We'll see how well a student is doing. Every time they log into the program, their progress is going to be tracked. And we can see their performance, again, on every single grade, every single domain, and every single standard in the Common Core. Uh, and we know on every single date exactly where they're performing. And all of this is done automatically. The teacher doesn't have to do anything to make this happen. Uh, for our special ed and RTI students, we have IEP reports that you can build here. Uh, and we also, uh, and you'll notice, if I move out of math, I was just looking at math for an example, but all of our other subject areas are going to basically follow that same flow, offer you the same kind of information with variations here and there based on the subject area, of course. Uh, so one thing I'd like to point out to you uh, is, so we've looked at the features there, but one of our newest features I'd like to specifically talk about a bit because it's getting a lot of buzz is our test prep feature. So test prep, I believe, ooh, numbers was the most recent. So it's the second most recent thing we've added to our curriculum. And it works a little differently than our other modules. Uh, but it's designed to help students prepare, prepare for those state tests, get them ready for taking those tests online, and get them brushed up on the skills they're going to be tested on. It'll start them with two assessment questions. Uh, if they get those assessment questions right, they move on. They don't waste time practicing skills that they already know. Uh, so that way, you get to maximize the amount of time that students spend practicing test prep. They don't get burnt out on it. And they perform much better on those state tests when they come. So that's, again, if you have specific questions about our curriculum or any features about what they can do, I would love to answer them. But I also want a chance to point out some of our cool tools that are available if you purchase Moby Max Pro. Uh, one of our original added features that we added was Moby Messenger. And this is a way that teachers can send messages to students and students can send messages to teachers. Uh, they cannot send messages to each other. So 
But we found when teachers write us and they tell us what they like about using this feature, they really appreciate being able to keep in touch with students even when they're working at home. And they also really like helping students on problems without them feeling singled out in class. The wall is a more, so this is more individual, uh, and the wall is more of a social posting, kind of like social media, uh, but it's unlike other social media sites that a teacher could use. First of all, it won't be blocked by the district, and second of all, uh, the teacher's going to have a lot of control over what they're able to post, so you can post messages, assignments, events, and polls, but you can also control comments, you can delete comments, you can embed videos, and you can embed pictures. So it's a great way to introduce students to digital citizenship. And also we have Clicker, which is a place on Mobi where you can actually develop your own curriculum. So while these modules are all meant to help students learn at their own pace and their more individual learning, this is actually a classroom tool that teachers can use uh, when they're working in the classroom to get, uh, get the pulse of how their students are performing on an individual skill. If I show this to you here and we go to our active Clicker session, We'll see we've got these problems here, something about what kind of shape this is. And if I click this button, I can see exactly how my students are doing on this question. So of the students who had answered, looks like they understand pretty well that that's a triangle. And that's instant, that's done in real time, so exactly that moment you know, do I need to go over this concept with my students or can we move on? Uh, but probably, I've saved probably the best for last, at least from the student side of things. What students love about our program is our motivational tools. Uh, so very popular are our badges, which our students earn when they pass practice sets. They get questions correct. And our badges are really cool pictures of cool animals or sea creatures or things from space. Students really like to earn them. Uh, but probably more popular is our game time. So again, students will earn game time if they pass lessons. And they really like to play those games. But I think they also get a true sense of the reward. They win those games. Uh, and we also have contests that teachers can use with prizes in their own classroom. And uh, Moby even has some free prizes for you that we offer to people who are trying out. Uh, we like to help those kids get motivated. And the students are really, really motivated by those contests. They work really, really hard. So uh, again, if you have any specific questions about these, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. But I want to tell you a little bit just about how far we've come. So I would say uh, in the past calendar year, just about, uh, we've added in, uh, we're pretty close to, well, we added in, we separated out FactMaster, we added in numbers, we added in reading, we added in writing, we added in test prep. And language and vocabulary were created just about now, this time last year. And that's what we've added in just in that one year. So you can only imagine what's going to be coming, what we're going to be able to create create in the next calendar year. Right now, our plan, very, very soon, we'll be releasing our reading skills module, uh, which is going to add in practice on individual reading skills. We're going to have an assessment module that allows you to customize assessments. And then future plans further out are going to be science, uh, social studies, and even looking at adding in uh, grades 9 through 12. Uh, so I wanted to give you a sense of just how fast pace of a company we are, because so when you purchase a Moby Max license, if I go to our pricing here, and our pricing is really reasonable, uh, but if you purchase a Moby Max license, uh, you actually have everything included that's here, but then also everything we add. So you're making an investment with our future development. And think about if someone purchased the license on this date last year, they had all these modules that were added in for the coming school year. So uh, we are really committed to building our product to make it exactly how teachers want it to give them what they need to help their students succeed. And we have exciting plans for that in the coming year. So we really encourage you to give us a try so you can become a part of our little Moby family and uh, grow with us as we build our product. But Glenn, that's about, that's a very brief overview of what I have to say about Moby, but I would love to take the opportunity to field any questions that have come up. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to see them, uh, but if there are any questions, I would love to hear them. Well, I don't know whether you've done just such a fabulous job or people <laughs> shy, but I don't have any questions that are on the, uh, on the table at the moment. Um, so 
So if uh, we'll, we'll just leave your screen up for a minute so in case something comes up you can uh, show the, uh, the answers to those questions. And uh, when we finish, I'll pop a screen up that tells you uh, how to contact folks at CVI in terms of how to engage with, uh, with MobiMax and, and get, uh, take advantage of our uh, MobiMax offering. But just to tell you that any computer you buy from uh, CDI will come with, if you ask for it, a free one-year subscription to MobiMax. And we do have the ability to update that to a five-year subscription for as little as $9.95. And if you are a school that's using that device with multiple children or multiple students, you can still have access for all of those kids for that price uh, with that device. So that is one of the things that we have added. We are getting a couple of questions. Let me see if I can. What is the question that is just one question? What is the one box virtual PBX? <laughs> that is actually that's an old. Uh, so these are just bookmarks that I use for work. One box virtual <laughs> phone box I, I, is I, I just what we. Sorry about that, William. It just seems to be some confusion. Uh, how are, okay, uh, so that's, that's it. So I'm assuming that there's no other questions at this point in terms of content. So what I will do, thanks Katie, that was great. Obviously really good because we didn't get a lot of, uh, we didn't get a lot of questions. So I am going to just put my screen up for now and so as I said a minute ago, just to kind of give you a where to go from here, uh, certainly for those folks on the line that know who their CDI rep is, I would encourage you to ask them about our one-year free offering. Uh, it started out as a, uh, an offering just with our tablets, and we have extended it to all our Windows devices as well. So you do have the ability, if you're buying a, a, a lab full of notebooks or desktops, to add this as part of that offering. Um, there's a couple things I encourage you to do. A, Katie showed you an awful lot that's right on their website. You can go. There are also some good YouTube videos. Uh, if you go to the YouTube, uh, um, I guess it's the Moby Learning Channel, if you will. There's a whole bunch of uh, decent uh, Moby Learning um, uh, content there that you can look at. We'd certainly be happy to uh, do a one-on-one -on -one demo for a school or district if there is some interest in doing something district-wide. Um, we do, um, we do, there are some discounted prices as well that uh, uh, Katie didn't show you in terms of districts. So if you are a district looking for it to do more than five schools, uh, there is some pricing available for you as well. We do also have an offering if you are in, in the uh, curriculum space and you're looking for something for uh, high school, we do have an offering that falls in that category as well. We'd be happy to talk to you about that. Uh, my contact information is there if you don't know who your CD up IREP is, please feel free to reach out to me and I will connect you with the right person or provide you with the right information. We do have a recording of this uh, webinar and it will be posted to our website tomorrow and for anyone who has attended today, we will send you out that link. So um, if there are no uh, further questions in terms of uh, uh, content or, or what the MobiMax offering is, then uh, I appreciate your time. I hope you found this uh, our short time together both uh, interesting and informative. And uh, feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have. Uh, but on behalf of myself, all the folks here at CDI and the folks at MobiMax, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to speaking to you in the near future. Take care.